we obviously have to talk about this this is courtesy of abc7 news happened a few days ago shoe palace employee fatally shot after intervening in a raffle dispute outside a melrose avenue store absolutely tragic um event um happened obviously i think a few days ago there is a video circulating which obviously i'm not going to play that shows a guy couple of dudes outside of a store appearing to go down an alleyway or a kind of cul-de-sac of a street and then they kind of get into some sort of altercation one guy starts to kind of pull up his sleeves about to fight and then somebody just pulls out a gun and bam shoots him it looks like towards the abdomen he drops to the floor and everyone runs away and he didn't really know much about the story then obviously it transpires that he allegedly worked at the shoe store he was helping out that day um, there was some sort of dispute about raffles and about um, getting selected in the shoe, whatever it may be. And then it obviously tensions got the better of everybody and it kind of resulted in this fatal incident. And the interesting part of it is obviously there's been no word or any sort of statement made by people like Nike or Adidas and stuff who, in my opinion, have facilitated and pushed people to this point. Um, the constant L's people keep getting on apps like sneakers and uh, weird backward justifications for the fact that they don't make enough shoes to satisfy demand and the fact that they still can't operate or still haven't found out a precise method to allow people to purchase shoes in a safe and orderly manner has resulted in these barbaric events that occur where somebody's losing their lives off the back of a fucking raffle you know i mean I, like i said like the fact that they have reinvented what the term raffle means over the last few years has been mind-blowing back when i was a kid a raffle meant you'd buy a ticket for a nominal fee right a fee that obviously didn't equate to whatever prize you were going to win and that was the whole idea behind a raffle the more tickets you bought the more opportunity you had to basically win prizes that far exceeded the value of the ticket itself but now the term raffle ascertains to the idea of buying a buying the opportunity to have an your entry placed in the hat for you then to have another opportunity to then buy the shoe itself now don't get me wrong most of raffles are free but still the premise behind the raffle is that you try you get more for the you get more value for what you actually buy the ticket for whereas in this you there's you know no value whatsoever because you want to buy the shoe you've got the money for it but you have to be lucky to get your your name pulled out of the hat because bots and all that malarkey and backdoors and all this nonsense stuff happens as well in the scene so it's just heartbreaking to see read the article it says a store employee was shot and killed outside his shoe palace in fairfax district on wednesday the shooting happened just before 12 30 p.m near the store located at melrose in north genovese avenue the 26 year old man identified by loved ones as J as Jirine bradford was shot and taken to a nearby hospital the lapd confirmed he had died the suspect fled the scene and remains on the loose last i heard is a 16 year old kid who got arrested and he's the main suspect so um, I'm, I'm sure i think that's still the case now but i'm not too sure when this investigator said the incident started of a dispute over a raffle the store was holding over a pair of sneakers the employee who was shot was just arriving to work and saw a crowd arguing outside and tried to intervene a witness said the employees appeared to be trying to de-escalate the situation and was backed away um and was backing away when he was shot video show by an eyewitness showed the employee back into the street away from several men as i mentioned with the several store employees also nearby one of the men suddenly pulls a gun and fires once the group then scatter in other directions and buy sand to cover a sign in the store window indicates that the raffle was for a pair of nike dunk low sneakers with black multi camo scheme nike expected to release a sneaker in public august 18th for retail price of the day the police said that many cameras in the stores and the area and they expect to take several days to review and to retrieve and review the footage loved ones gathered outside the shoe store wednesday to for a memorial to honor bradford so r.i.p to that guy man losing your life over a pair of shoes especially shoes that no one's purchased yet because of a fucking raffle is tragic as hell especially considering everything that's going on in the world to lose your life in that way is just beyond senseless to the kid as well 16 year old kid throwing your life away again for a pair of shoes not specifically the shoes but the raffle itself is completely asinine but again some blame needs to be laid at the feet of these sneaker brands these brands are perpetually putting people in positions where they are getting so irate so flustered so frustrated that they're willing to number one bring a gun out with them when they're going to buy sneakers and two use it if they feel like they've been slighted continually by the brands and continually by the stores themselves in order to purchase shoes that they feel like they can buy with their hard-earned money because don't tell me that this solution couldn't be 
rectified instantly if they just made more to satisfy demand and don't say oh it doesn't make them limited who cares sneaker industry is no longer limited it's gone mainstream it's a billion dollar industry everybody in your mom knows somebody that quote unquote collects shoes people are reselling all the time there is no such thing as a niche subculture anymore it is part of the mainstream lexicon it's from time complex make complete fairs and gatherings and parties based upon shoes itself then you know it's gone pop and it's never going back if that's the case make more shoes to satisfy demand there's no excuse and if you can't do that make there a solution or a process that allows people to purchase the shoes that they want in an orderly manner why is it i can purchase an iphone i can buy a flipping hermes bag easier than i can buy a pair of dunks it makes absolutely no sense it's idiotic it's artificial um you know um it's artificial flipping scarcity that they purposely do in order to drive demand and for whatever reason sneakerheads just keep lapping it up they just keep opening their mouths willing to get pissed on continually continually get more l's and they get w's and no one complains because at the end of the day no one really cares because if you get your one one w if you're able to secure your one pair suddenly all those l's that you get throughout the years can't continue just get erased which is weird to think of but that's the truth most people don't care about sneakers they don't care about the inability to purchase the shoes because they were lucky enough to get x y and z in previous releases and they just chalk it up to be part of the game when it's not it's all been gamed it's all been you know um hoodwinked behind the scenes there are people working within these companies who are you know doing backdoor jobs i know i've heard i've seen i'm not talking out of turn here um and i don't know man and it results in again people losing their lives over this shit and it's just sad it's not worth it and the other day more shoes keep dropping nothing changes and the world will just keeps turning so i don't know um r.i.p that kid um thoughts and feelings go out to his family hopefully the store honors him in the right way possible supports his family and all that malarkey and makes sure that he's looked after because yeah what a sad situation really 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 sad situation